I had a little problem over there, though. That's uh, something I don't want to talk about. Despite, you know, no matter what, anything else, let me be very clear. Mark Wade was not right. Right? And you can put a hashtag on that. Mark Wade wasn't right. Was not right. Mark Wade was not right. Uh, that Let's is... Talk about that. Hold on, hold on. People do want to talk about that. So... Yeah. All right. So here's the thing. Um, I, I got to be, uh, you know, honest with people. Um, just because some things work uh, to your advantage doesn't mean that you can run with them uh, and just uh, uh, take things out of context. Uh, Mike S. Miller, somebody who I despise right now. I'm act I actually feel hate in my heart for a couple of people. And I really, that you isn't should, something I like. You should Nick. let that go for your own for your I'm, own trying to, I'm trying to it's like i let it go it cools down and then i see something else and i'm like i feel hatred in my heart again and i, I don't want to feel like that I'm, I'm really happy i'm in a good place in my life uh but you know uh mark uh, mike miller uh mike s miller tweeted out uh he said look if uh if you think if customers of comics gate think that they're allowed to just shit all over pros uh, and then pros aren't allowed to say anything back and it's respect the customer. Uh, then they're stupid. A uh, hashtag or Mark Wade was right. And, uh, you know, Doug to Naples subtweeted that or something, I guess, quote tweeted it. And yeah, hashtag and Mark Wade is right. My, my opinion is in the context, I see what Doug is trying to do. And Doug is, Doug is my friend. Absolutely. Uh, it, but I see what Doug is trying to do with it. I get that there's context to it. I just I I'm not a fan of of that. I think it was trying to be provocative, and I think I think he personally overstepped a line. That's that's the thing. I mean, you know, people have to understand. Uh, Doug was laughing when he typed that. You know, Doug. Doug I know Doug, and you know, you know Doug too. And Doug was trolling when he typed that. And yeah. what Mike was saying, Mike was just saying, I don't believe that just because you might buy my work or did buy my work as a customer that you have the right to uh, abuse me on social media. Uh, and if that's what you think, uh, then Mark Wade was right. Well, I don't think Mark Wade ever said that. Mark Wade was actually saying, fuck you. You can't work in this industry if we don't want you to. Uh, that wasn't a, a Mark Wade opinion. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, considering even the fact that, you know, Mike didn't understand what he was saying, uh, Mike was making his own kind of point, And then Doug was just trolling. But boy, is that a hard thing to hear from people that you gave money to? Yeah. It's just a hard thing to hear. Uh, you know, yeah, I, and 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 I agree, and uh, I I I was not a fan of that. Uh, Flash sent it to me because I didn't I didn't see it. You know, how Twitter is you only see about ten percent of what goes on. Uh, Flash sent it to me, and I was like, I I sent him. I was like, what the hell is going on? And I looked at it, and was like, okay, I see the context, but I'm not a I'm not a big fan. Yeah, you're talking about a lot of people here. You know, you're not just talking about a few people that you dislike. Uh, when you say something like that, you're talking to so many people. You're insulting so many people who are invested in this. And not only that, you're insulting Zach, who never did anything. I mean, Doug Tenaple can be mad at me for any number of reasons. I think they're all bullshit. Uh, but he can be mad at me if he wants to. We've interacted. Zach has never hurt anyone in Comicsgate. I mean, Zach stays out of it, minds his own business. And the one thing we all kind of should agree on is that we want Zach to win that lawsuit. That was uh, the that was the thing that I immediately went to. I was like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute." Despite all no matter where what your opinion on the drama is, Richard Meyer if Mark Wade was right, then we're going to say that somebody who made a comment that we don't like in private years ago deserves to never work in an industry again. I mean, that's the essence of what Mark Wade is claiming, right? Like Zach, Zach did the dark roast. He, even he admits it was in poor taste and wasn't executed well, but we're going to condemn someone for something they did one time and attach that to them for the rest of their lives. Like that's what Mark Wade stands for. And so when I saw that, I immediately went, what the hell did Zach do? To anybody other than oh he said a mean thing once who cares i say mean things literally all day like renfamous is fat renfamous is really really fat and ugly and also what's worse than that and less attractive than that is her personality so i i i rip on people all day 
Uh, does that mean that I can never work in an industry again? That's ridiculous. Well, I mean, and and uh, someone like Doug Tenaple should be extremely sympathetic to that because I was there when he was talking to Scott Kurtz and saying, uh, just because I misgendered uh, a gaming critic, a game uh, a game critic who I called Sir, and <laughs> I knew she was, you know, trans woman. Uh, you know, does it's that ma'am. mean? <laughs> <laughs> Doug's whole thing is like, he said to Kurtz, he said, does that mean that I should never work again, that I should starve in the streets, that I should do this and that? And Scott Kurtz said to him, well, let me ask you a question. Was it worth it? Uh, and uh, I think even Doug was taken back by that. It's like, was I it remember, worth it? Like- I remember that show where Scott, you know, Scott was uh, Doug's at least colleague, if not friend. But I think, you know, that that was a, uh, I think because Doug said, you know, should I never work again? He's like, well, maybe you shouldn't or whatever because of his religious views. It's like, oh, my mm-hmm. God, these people are that far gone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's who we're dealing with. And I, I cannot share. I cannot allow them to have power over my life uh, and my ability to feed my family or yours or anyone associated with Comicsgate. And so that's the thing. Like, I wish uh, I know Doug has this thing about Comicsgate has no principles. Well, that's my principle. You know, it's like we will we will continue to make it uh, so that cancel culture is canceled. Uh, the, we're not going to allow these people to ever impoverish their political opponents uh, ever again and make it impossible for them to work in their chosen field. Not as long as I'm breathing. I'm, I'm that's what I'm going to spend my life doing. Uh, and I, I committed to that. I talked to my wife about it all the time. Like Comicsgate is my life. I will spend all of my all of my time, the rest of my life, if I have to, making sure that people uh, who want to draw comics are not gate kept out of comics by social justice warriors. Uh, and we can do that with Comicsgate. We're building up an entire alternate, you know, alternate industry. Uh, it's something that should be protected. It's something that should be supported, uh, and it's something that we need people who um, are talented and understand. Uh, to get behind and support. And if you want to destroy it and you're somebody who isn't a social justice warrior and you're somebody who wants to destroy what we're doing, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. Uh, something is wrong with you at that point. Uh, now, uh, again, I, there's a whole thing about, hey, you have to be friends with Ethan to be Comicsgate. No, you don't. You just have to be friendly with me in order to get on my YouTube channel. But there are dozens and dozens of creative people uh, who are Comicsgate, uh, who need support and need help, need assistance, need support, need to learn how to do uh, comics uh, because the mainstream isn't going to let them in. And I think uh, those of us who are fortunate enough to make hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, from the fans uh, need to give back in a big way, in a big way uh, to this industry, uh, comics gate, to this little mini industry that we're creating here. Um, and if you don't, again, I, I don't understand why not. I'll never understand why not. Wow. I'm already an Antifa super soldier. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah.